Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm here to review the new film of Mortal Kombat. <sighs> what can I say about this film? Well, story goes, what we thought we might get, Mortal Kombat being the tournament that we normally get. Nah, this time it's not. It's more or less the pre-tournament of Mortal Kombat. Surprisingly, they kind of sold it in the trailer that, oh yeah, we're going to get this in the film, but we didn't. So it goes, we get in the beginning, we have the origin story of Sub-Zero and Scorpion, why they hate each other. We don't get a reason why, but the Lin Kuei and I can't remember what the group that Scorpion is with, they don't obviously like each other. So Sub-Zero kills Scorpion's whole family, Scorpion ends up dying. We get to, uh, like, real, not even real time, but we get to time now. And we've got this Cole character who is basically the viewers looking through this film. Where him, he's got lineage to Scorpion. And we see his, I guess, rise to be somebody, but we don't know who. Or don't know who he may turn into, could be a future Scorpion, we don't know. But he's definitely got the lineage and we get the history of Mortal Kombat, how uh, everything comes together, why, and we're eventually gonna get this tournament. The to it stands to reason that Earthrealm has lost nine tournaments. There's another tournament that's going to happen. If Earthrealm lose, then Outworld win and Outworld will take over Earthrealm. End of story. We get the history of that. We just don't get no tournament. We just get like dotted characters here and there. You get a, a little bit of motive for them. But basically in a nutshell, Shang Tsung is basically killing off possible Earth Realm fighters. So he can therefore not have a tournament and possibly lose. So he's kind of going against the Elder Gods in the rules of the tournament. And so now... The Earth Realm fighters have to, you know, come together, learn how to fight. And also, they end up killing people from the Never Realm because they started killing, killing them from Outworld. It's, it's it's kind of all complicated, but this is how the film gives us gives it to us. How we know the knowledge of Mortal Kombat from the video games to actual lore of the film and the comics and so on and so forth. They kind of mixed pieces together, like we got a little bit of a comic book, we got a little bit of the game, we got a little bit of previous films, they kind of mold it into one and, and this is our film. It is complicated but as a look and how good it could have been, we can see that. It's just that it's a shame they didn't leave us with anything, like so... Everything that was shown in the trailer, we got in the film. Nothing was hidden. It's like they they just basically, again, like I said, showed us the film. The release of the first bit of the trailer, the first nine minutes, they shouldn't have done that. They should have just kept that hidden because that is the best part of the movie. Seeing the origin story between um, Sub-Zero and Scorpion. The fights that are in the film, they are really good. Um, some of them are a little bit like janky wise but in general the film is actually good in regards to the fighting there's a reason for why they're fighting how like one of the best fights that I enjoyed was Sub-Zero and Jax when Sub-Zero took Jax's arms the way Sub-Zero was fighting the way he scratched his arm down scratched his arm down grabbed him like the way they were fighting really good there was story in their fighting it wasn't just fighting for the sake of it there was story in it really good in telling that but because we got good fighting doesn't mean that everything is good there are good elements in this film but not everything was great is it the best video game adaptation i don't know i'd have to watch like that and probably sonic because sonic is holding the title for that which one i would go with I don't know, but as a whole with Mortal Kombat, I thought it was good. It's it's just not, I wanted more and I wanted to remember it. And would it be a cult classic like the original? I don't think so. I think because 
of where the cult classic original came in. I don't think it will hold that same kind of power, but maybe on repeat viewing for this film, yes, you'll probably enjoy it more. But you're gonna kind of forget this. It's a, it's a watch, bro. go watch it. 100%, I, I, go watch it and have your opinion on it. But the story is a little muddled and there are things out in it that are good. My thoughts and feelings about of what I liked about it though, I loved the fighting. The animation was good. The VF, v, VFX was really good. Certain things about the story, I didn't like. Uh, I didn't like... Um, how they portrayed Reptile. Reptile should have been an actual guy, not some kind of lizard thing that is killing people so they could not be in the tournament. That I, I didn't really like. The law of how people got powers and they're not just given to them. You have to kill somebody to be, get the marking of the tournament. I get that. It's not part of anything. They just put that in the film. I understand it, but you have to now, if you're not born with it, you have to kill somebody to get the mark in. Okay, fine. And then you still can get power once you get your Akana, which is basically Chi. Fine. The uh, references was good in the film. There's a lot of them. We saw Tana. We saw her weapon, her like fan. So we know she is, she exists or yeah, she's got to exist because th that's why we saw it. We also saw the time-traveling amulet that Kano took. That was a good um, shout-out to what could happen in the future. And uh, also other other fighters like we saw um, Kota Khan. His um, image was there. So we know that these people exist. Are they alive or are they dead? We don't know. But those are the things that I, I liked and disliked about the film. Like, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's a kind of hit and miss. Like, I enjoyed watching it, but I wanted more. And it's, it's just, yeah, that's, that, that's how I felt about it. It's, 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 you wanted more, but it just wasn't there. Coming from when I watched the trailer, I thought, oh yeah, this is gonna be really good. I can't wait, ah, oh, the fatalities. No, nah, you know what, even saying that, the fatalities, the fatalities was good. Best fatality, I'm probably gonna say, I would say Kung Lao's fatality was the best. It's very, very gruesome. It looks like the game. We did get an animality um, from Liu Kang. That looked really good. I did not like his portrayal though, on the way he was, it's like, he was super subservient and unsure of himself and he didn't know what to do or even say. He was like, oh, I've got to follow Kung Lao. I've got to follow Kung Lao. Whatever Kung Lao does, I will do. And I know, obviously, through watching the film, it's pre-Mortal Kombat tournament, but this attitude of Liu Kang, I don't know. And it's never been portrayed. So when we see it, it's like, oh, who's this guy that's like scared and unsure of himself? He's supposed to be certain, he's supposed to be strong. You're going to be the eventual winner of the tournament, you know, in the future. But I guess it's seeing his rise to that character, you know. But his attitude, I didn't like. Not at all. I didn't really like it, but I didn't care for it. Kano, funny. He was the best. He had the one-liners. He was he was he was jokes. Every time he was on screen, he he definitely wins best character or look and embrace of the character in this film. Definitely. Loved Kano. Loved him. You know, he had super one-liners. Certain one-liners you can't even say on YouTube, but he had those one-liners. Very, very funny. Goro was in it. Good for Goro. He looked kind of weird. But, like, in his face, like, in the stature, he looks really good. But in the face, when they got kind of close up, you know, oh, yeah, ground, it's animation still. But he kind of looked weird. But he, even his kind of fighting style, really good. Um, I liked when his arm got broken and he just put it back together. Like, Ragar, it's only one arm, let me put it back. Like, yeah, I liked that. Things I didn't, uh, things I didn't really like with the Cole character, his 
armor rid. I, I, I think he, I think his power was he could summon the power from his lineage of Scorpion because obviously Scorpion was in the Never Realm, but he kind of absorbs people's power like the hits that he takes and then obviously he can project it back back to them kind of like we had in black panther so i, I could see how they draw drew from that but like they really didn't need the character that like, we could have had anybody else we did not have to have cole he's not even a real guy he was just made up for the film like kind of don't need him i per preferably would love him to die if he died who would have missed him no one no one would have missed him so yeah those 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 are my my thoughts man definitely those are my thoughts and feelings about it the good and the bad in in the film you know um definitely the good and the bad but i wanted more 100 percent, i wanted more it's just sad that we didn't get it you know so yeah, guys, I, I don't know what you thought about it. Have you even watched it? Have you seen it? Are you going to watch it? Um, I just wanted more, guys. That On the reels, I just wanted more. It's sad, man. But here's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you feel in the same way as me? Comment down below. And I guess uh, you'll see me next time, guys. Later.